Well, he also says sometimes that you got to fight the NRA. Antoine Seawright is a Democratic strategist and the founder and CEO of Blueprint Strategy. John Loudon is a former Republican Missouri state senator. Nice to see you both this morning. Nice to see Good you. Good morning. All right, so uh, John, I want to start with you. You know, the NRA usually takes a lose no ground approach. Uh, the president has proposed um, raising the minimum age uh, to buy assault rifles to 21. Do you think the NRA will even consider budging? Well, the, the knee jerk reaction is always to uh, prohibit guns or put additional prohibition on guns. And imagine if we banned all gun sales today. How many people are going to feel comfortable sending kids to school uh, without metal detectors and armed uh, police to, uh, to protect them? Uh, this, this idea that we can put Band-Aids on and that it's somehow going to prevent future deaths is really just, you know, it's an illusory promise. And so, yes, when the NRA is, is asking compromise, compromise, you know, a compromise is an even exchange. If you're going to take something away from gun owners, what are you going to give gun owners? So I think the NRA is perfectly right to stand their ground on this. All gun owners, this is a constitution after all. Antoine, I'd like to get your take on what he just said. And also, you know, the president has talked about arming teachers. What's the Democrats' position there? Well, that's the most dangerous thing we could ever um, say is to arm teachers and think that is the answer to the crisis we have in this country when it comes to mass shooting. What the NRA wants and what the American people want seem to be two different things. What most reasonable Americans want, in fact, that number is somewhere north of 65 percent, is reasonable, com common sense gun, gun reform laws in this country. Most people agree that if you have mental health issues, you should not be able um, to likely have a gun. Most people agree we need comprehensive, extensive background checks. Most people agree that we need to ban bump stocks. Most people agree, including myself who lived through this, that we need to close the Charleston loophole. And finally, if you're under the age of 21, there is no reason why you should be able to purchase an assault rifle. And quite frankly, why does anyone need an assault rifle in this country, the same weapon used on the battlefield in wars in this, in this country? Well, John, you know, I, I want to bring up proposed legislation that's on the table right now because it's going to be very difficult to bring lawmakers to any sort of a consensus on this topic. Let's talk about the background checks bill that's sponsored by Senator John Cornyn. You know, we're hearing some pushback both from the left and the right on this. Do you expect this legislation to get any traction? Uh, you know, I, I think I think people are okay uh, with expanding background checks, but I, I do need to correct your other guests. Uh, there is no one on a battlefield uh, using an AR-15. Uh, these are not, you know, conflating different types of guns uh, is not helpful. So you need to get your facts together, please. No, I do have my facts straight. In fact, I have I have a friend who serves no in the military using an who, AR has told me, on a who has told me. <laughs> okay, you know what, well, actually, you can't Antoine, no one uh, excuse, excuse me, Antoine, you go ahead and respond to that. <laughs> Well, you can't say I have a friend who is serving this country very well right now who has told me that is a gun, that is a military-style weapon that they are trained to use. And so I think you may have a different version of the facts than I may have. And I'm going to jump in here since I served 12 years in the military, joined when I was 18 and was trained on a number of different weapons. Um, it's similar to what's used on the battlefield, the civilian version versus the military version, automatic versus semi-automatic. Um, but that's a different debate. I'd like to thank both of you for joining us this morning, Antoine and John. Nice to see you. Thank you. Okay, thank you.